while I may never have been to Italy, or at least not yet, I do know enough that you cook a fresh homemade pasta right before you're ready to serve it. The fennel sauce takes no time at all. It basically takes as long to prepare as cooking the tortellini itself. Of course, I'll start with a bit of olive oil. My water's to a full boil, so I'm going to add some generous pinches of salt and get the beautiful little tortellini cooking. Now, to the pan for the sauce, I pre-cut some onion, sliced onion, and sliced fennel. One of those typical Tuscan flavors. And I just need to soften it a little bit. For some fresh thyme. No basil in this sauce. Going more for the earthier flavors. And as well, a little fennel seed too. Now that the fennel's toasted up a bit, this splash of white wine, about half a cup, and I'll let that reduce by half. And when you're adding cream, you have to use whipping cream. Because I've added white wine to the sauce, anything less than 30%, and your sauce would actually curdle from the white wine. The tortellini's ready, so I'm just going to strain it, and the key is not to rinse it now. And how do you check when a cream sauce is done? I actually check for its doneness the same way I test for when a custard is done, and that's when the sauce actually clings to the back of a spoon and you can draw a line in it. Then you know it's the right consistency to cling onto the pasta so it won't drip to the bottom of the bowl. This is a nice contrast to some of the typical pasta sauces you see. I do love a good tomato sauce with fresh basil, but this is altogether different. All right, this smells fantastic. It's time to get back to talking about travel.